Hey guys, if you're looking to change your career, this video is brought to you by Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. They're focusing on all the latest development technologies to get junior developers in the industry as soon as possible without having to go through the traditional four-year college. They have on, on-site campuses. Um, students actually live on campus there. So they have campus assistance and all kinds of other stuff. So make sure you check them out. The link is in the description tab below. Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, we're looking at Bootstrap versus Materialize and really just, you know, going into 2019, like what is the better option? They're both confusing, I think, um, in the sense of like, what does one do versus the other? But the thing is, is they're very similar. Um, and I'm not sure that a lot of you guys know that, but if you don't, that's what this video is about. So just to compare the two and just try to give you an idea on which one um, you would want to use and why. So material design was actually created by Google and they're focusing a lot on depth. So if you look at a lot of these components and everything, it's all based on a lot of, um, you know, just friendly animations and a lot of depth. And it still uses a grid based system like Bootstrap. Bootstrap was started in 2011, late 2011, started by the guys over at Twitter. It actually is very similar to Materialize, but it, this is a much more old tried and true framework. Materialize is caught up a lot, but Bootstrap is going to be a little bit more uh, probably familiar for, for a lot of developers and there's gonna be a lot more themes and things built around um, using bootstrap But that would be like one advantage of bootstrap right now, but like uh, for two similar libraries, I would choose materialize So for all you jQuery haters out there, and I know that there's a lot of you um, but both libraries still use it, so you're gonna be stuck using jQuery um, and besides that they also like um, if you want just simply like the animations materialize is going to win hands down because it's just a newer library. It's making just better use of, uh, you know, modern CSS uh, 3.0 and JavaScript. Whereas bootstrap, you have to kind of tack on the animation. There's some animation plugins that you can attach onto the library. Another benefit to material UI is that it's now baked into projects like this material UI project that is using react. So um, it's just, it, it, if you look at this, it's just beautiful. So it, it blends very well, like in a very modern approach where you can have uh, actual, you can have actual components with the baked in CSS and everything using this material UI library. So you can truly have composable components that you can, you know, just ship everywhere without all these, you know, different dependencies and things. Uh, at least that's the idea behind it. Both libraries also use the um, CSS grid system. So if you guys are used to the 12 column base, 12, uh, you know, 12 column grid layout, uh, very easy to reason about. We're very used to using it now with Bootstrap and, um, and Materialize continues to do that. So both will be very similar to you. Both libraries have great color support. Um, Bootstrap has a, a very defined set of colors. It seems like that we're so used to with buttons and things like that, where Material UI is also... Uh, has probably a slightly better color chart actually. And what I mean by that is here in this material library, if I go ahead and I right click on this particular color, everything has a color and you can see that it's like teal and then it has this light in one. But if I start at, uh, messing with this attribute here, I can make it a five and it's actually going to make it lighter. So you see how it has, uh, you know, almost like not really opacity, but it just, it, it, does, it, it takes the teal color and you have all these different options of lightening and darkening it where you don't really have that option with bootstrap, at least that I know of. Both libraries have support for SAS, which is a style sheet language, basically a pre-processing CSS language, and um, a very common either SAS or less, but both uh, libraries support SAS. So honestly, if I had to pick between the two at this point right now, um, most of the jobs are going to be dealing with Bootstrap because it's so, it's so intertwined with everything that we're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis, and it's going to take a long time for that to fizzle out. But the hotness right now is definitely Material UI, and there are other libraries as well, but I focused on just the, the strongest competitor to Bootstrap, which is, uh, which is Material. And I would actually recommend that. So if you're younger, then you know, most likely the, the, the jobs five years are, from now are going to be more like a... More along the lines probably with, with material UI. Uh, Bootstrap's been around for a long time, and I just I, I don't know that it's going to continue to uh, be around in the future, but it certainly isn't going to like die off overnight.